I've got a whole host of exciting new AI tools to show you. From an open source character replacement, which allows you to do this and turn yourself into anyone, which is rather exciting. And beyond that, I've got a AI image model that is outperforming Google's Nano Banana. And I'll demonstrate exactly what it's capable of too. We have the best AI design agent that I've ever seen, allowing you to create complex presentations that can be used for pitching or websites in seconds. There's also a whole host of other exciting things to cover. If you're new here, I'm AI Samson, and on this channel we explore the latest possibilities in AI technology. First up is World Labs, and they have created an industry-leading world generator. And what this means is that you can take a single image and turn it into a 3D environment. Now, what's exciting about this is we can actually use it and integrate it right into projects straight away. And I'll show you a couple of examples like that in a minute. So what's incredible is that these worlds were created from just a single image. You can input an image and it creates an entire 3D environment that you can then explore. Now, I certainly see the biggest frontier in technology in the next couple of years is going to be bringing AI into the physical world, not just like with gadgets as we've seen with Meta's brand new Ray-Ban glasses, but also into autonomous humanoid-like robots. Now you may have seen the recent humanoid Olympics in Beijing, which showcased some of the remarkable advancements in mechanical robots who are now able to perform many tasks that we thought were only possible by humans and now a reality for robotics. But why does this matter in relation to 3D world models? If you're a robot, you need to understand what is likely to happen if you interact with the environment you are in. And giving it this autonomous understanding unlocks a whole host of possibilities. Now you can go and explore some of the worlds that are available on world maps yourself. And you can see that as you walk through these environments, you see some incredible details and these 3D renderings of a huge array of different objects. Now, one of the most exciting showcases of this is from Peter Levels, who has a website which is allowing you to redesign the interiors of your homes. And what he's done, he's taken it so that when you create a new interior design of your own home, you can then turn it into a 3D model which you can explore. And this unlocks a whole host of possibilities for any 3D design environmental space. So if you're an interior designer, an architect, or anyone working in interiors. Now, of course, this also unlocks a lot of opportunities for AI filmmaking because you can render out entire environments. You can then save those, and it means that you'll be able to have consistent temporal experiences throughout your whole film because you can just revisit these environments that you've already created to film more scenes, and this will allow you to create con completely consistent environments. You can sign up for their waitlist today and they say they are allowing new users in as quick as possible. Next up is Higgsfield's brand new lip sync studio. And lip syncing has been one of the most challenging elements inside of creating AI videos. It's usually the most obvious element that an AI video is in fact fake. But now we can try out all of the best lip syncing models in just one place. So let's have a look at exactly how this works. All you have to do is upload an image or a video. Next up, you can either generate the audio in Higgsfield or upload your own. And then finally, you can select your model to lip sync it with and generate the video. Now this is great because it allows you to choose exactly which model you want to use. Let's take a look at this. Hi, I'm an example, just like I always dreamed. As you can see, this is some of the best lip syncing that we've seen, and it gives us the power to use all the different AI video models in one place. Here is an example from El Cine. Hey, brothers and sisters, I know that no one wanted a thin iPhone, but I don't give a f Now, Photodump inside of Higgsfield is another exciting development, which allows you to upload just a single image and get out a whole collection of images that are trained on the original image. Let me show you exactly how it works because it's easy, fast, and useful. Now all you have to do is create a new character, go to upload your photo. Now it does work with one image, but it also suggests that using more will give you a better result. You'll then see your image uploaded and you can go ahead and generate it for free. Now it will tell you how likely this is to get a good result. Now, whilst they are generating, let me show you about a 
another exciting development in the world of AI animation, and that's from the best open source AI video model out there, WAN 2.2. Now they've released an update which is called 2.2 Animate, and this unlocks a whole host of new capabilities, specifically around unified character animation and replacement with holistic replication. Now, <laughs> what that actually means is that we can replace characters in our videos with characters with different looks and feels. But essentially, this is an open source way to use live action actors and then have them replaced with animated examples. So you can see here, you can have a live actor and then have them updated with their own animations. I will show you exactly how that works right now. And as you can see, this is me, but now I am rather special. It's quite impressive and exciting and unlocks a whole host of possibilities for you to use and integrate AI with live action. And it opens the door for us to give more realistic performances to our characters, as well as directly specifying action, movements, and motion. So you can take any picture and bring it to life instantly. And this is very exciting, especially for animation style videos. Now it works across all sorts of situations. It's not just talking head shots. You can even have full body animation and the expressions are truly exquisite. Just look at how well the hands are rendered here. Now, this gives us a lot of opportunity for creativity as well as functionality. And if you're looking to use this, you can download it and use it locally on your own machine. However, you will need a large amount of RAM to do so. But what's exceptionally exciting is that you can use it on their website for a very reasonable price. All you have to do is go to wan.video, then go to try now. And from here, you go to character swap in the function. Now, what you need is a target video and a character image. We're going to be using this blonde woman and we're gonna upload her from my device. Now I'm going to use this example of me here Pop that in. Now you get to use up to a maximum of 15 seconds, but of course you can link these together. So I will pick the 15 second segment. Let's take a look at how that turned out. Oh, as you can see, this is me, but now I am rather special. But I can also recreate myself in an animated style, which is very exciting for experimental and creative explorations. Now let's take a look at how Hicksfield got on. And as you can see, we've got our influencer out in a whole host of different situations and it's maintained perfect character consistency. And we've already got a whole catalog of images that we can use in our programs. This is absolutely remarkable. Now, of course, we can go ahead and animate these inside of Higgsfield as we desire. And it's truly the fastest and easiest way to generate an AI influencer. But that's not all. I want to show you my favorite AI presentation designer. And this is incredible at designing not just PowerPoints, but also entire pieces of design work. Let me show you. Gamma 3 has just come out and it is an incredibly powerful visual storytelling platform. Now, this entire website is in fact actually generated with Gamma. And what I love about it is it has these subtle animations as you scroll down the page. These give it a real sense of nuance, of taste, of premium design. And you can see all of the images and the text have been generated entirely inside the platform. So we can go ahead and copy this and play about with it ourselves. And as you can see here, everything is split up into slides and you can use this to create websites, to create presentations, create pitch decks, create social media content, a whole host of different use cases. Now what's great about this is it not only creates the designs, but it also creates the content. It's like combining Canva and ChatGPT together. So I might ask it to make me a presentation on Meta's new Ray-Ban glasses. Now, this is a very recent piece of news that just came out in the last few days. And what we're trying to see here is exactly how much relevant information it can bring in from a trending topic. Because for me, when I'm researching videos and putting together information, this takes up a lot of time because I'm researching, I'm gathering, and then I'm ordering this all into a document. So you can see here, this is some of the outline that I've created for this video. And now doing this inside of Gamma, it changes everything. So what we can do is we can actually see the information before we go ahead and generate 
the slides. So this means that we are checking everything is okay. So you can see here, it's got exactly the right model that came out just two days ago. It's got the right price and everything looks completely legitimate. So we can go ahead, scroll down and use exactly the different types of stylization that we require. So I prefer lighter text, so I'll go with minimal. We then also get to choose the general look and feel. I quite like this incandescent option. But let's try Founder for a change. You can then use AI images, but I'm actually interested in seeing how it gets on with web images. This is sourcing images from across the internet. Now you have an option to decide on the image license of these images, whether it will source ones where the licensing is unknown, or it will only pick free to use. So I will go with licensing unknown. So let's go ahead and generate this. Now, what I love about the camera is you get to see it in action. You get to simply sit back and see everything dynamically appear on screen. And you can see we're already getting live accurate images integrated into the presentation. It's even mentioning the behind the scenes drama. I mean, the uh, failed demo at the MetaConnect. And it's actually incredibly impressive. It's going through everything that we need and unlocking the possibility to give us a whole complete presentation all in one slideshow. And you can see this is incredibly attractive as well because you have to consider how well it's paired the typography with the images, the layouts, as well as the color schemes. Now, once that's ready, you can go ahead and present it. So for example, I could launch my screen recording software here and jump in to exactly what's going on. That meta ray band display glasses, the future of AI wearables, a revolutionary AI powered eyewear that seamlessly blends style with cutting edge technology. Now what I love is the animations that it integrates. Just look at this, as we go from slide to slide, we get these pop-ups coming in. And these are fiddly little things to do yourself and take a long time to get right. Now, whether this is the actual latest version in the images, it's hard for me to tell. It looks as if they are, but the most exciting thing is it's really drawn in the interesting elements of the neural band. Now, I like the fact it's given a whole slide dedicated to accessibility and durability, though it has sort of missed out an image here. Now, I truly think this is an incredibly useful product and it's one that I do use a lot of the time. Uh, let me know what you think of Gamma 3. Now, everyone's been going crazy over Nano Banana for the last few weeks, but a lot of people have not seen the potential of another AI image model, and that is Sea Dream 4. And it's actually outperforming Nano Banana across a number of benchmarks, and you'll be quite surprised at what it's capable of. Now, some of the biggest issues inside of Nano Banana relate to the resolution. It creates incredibly small images, but Sea Dream allows us to generate images in up to 4K resolution. And you can just see how exquisitely aesthetic these images are. I would say another critique of Nano Banana is that although it excels at editing images, it's actually fairly subpar at generating images. I found the best workflow for me usually is to take an image from mid journey and then edit it inside of Nano Banana and then go and upscale it using an upscale tool. Now, Sea Dream also has immense capabilities for creating character consistency. You can just see here in these examples of these different shots of this girl and take note of just how accurate the details are on her bow. Now, one thing that it is also doing exceptionally well is creating highly detailed text. Now, many image models are handling text fairly well, but creating extended pieces of text that is 100% accurate is still a challenge. And here you can see that we have got a title and four whole bullet points and to my perceptive eye, there's not a spelling mistake in sight. Now you also have the ability to converse with your images and use natural language to update them. Here we can see the prompt being used, remove the boy in this picture, and leaving the protagonist gazing into the lens. Now what I love about this one is it asks for a relighting of the environment. So you can see here that the lights have been turned on and it massively impacts not just the atmosphere, but also the timbre of the piece. Now, these text-based examples are absolutely astounding. Just look at how exquisite this retro website is. And I am completely blown away by a number of elements here. Firstly, is the accuracy of the content that it has generated. It is given logical 
titles to each of the website sections and it's integrated beautiful user interface elements and everything works to work together extraordinarily well as a whole piece. Even the color palette spreading across the background of these three images. And if you just notice the design here, the, the exactness, the precision of the graphic layout that we have a four column layout here with the right hand side split into two columns and the left hand side using this one strong 50% width column. And here is an incredible example of showcasing a lot of text on one slide. Now, my only slight quibble around this example is that the text sizes of each of these elements are quite variable. <laughs> it looks as if that it gradually gets larger as you go down the page. I would also question the alignment a little bit here of the title. But you can see it also works for Chinese characters. Now I've been testing Sea Dream 4 to its absolute limits, specifically because it has much lower censorship than Nano Banana and any other AI image model out there. But I'm curious if you would like to see this video because right now it's just been my own personal experiments. But if you would like a deep dive into how to use Sea Dream and exploration of its censorship compared to other AI image models, do let me know in the comments. Now here's another example that I'm just in absolute awe of, and particularly how well the text and the images interact in a cohesion that brings out nothing but sensational joy to my heart. Now on their own benchmarking, you can see that it's performing very well across the board. On this benchmarking, it shows that GPT image one is a highly comparable model, apart from the area of aesthetics, where Sea Dream 4 is absolutely wiping the floor. Now on one of the most popular leaderboard rankings, you can see that this model is now the top performing model. Now one place that you can go ahead and try out Sea Dream 4 right away is on Open Art. And this is a place where we can use a whole host of different models together. And we're really starting to see this to become quite a theme in many of our AI platforms, which is aggregating different models into one place. And we've already seen Photoshop is adopting Nano Banana inside of their platform. But there are some developments coming from Adobe's own AI tools as well. And they've teamed up with Luma to integrate their brand new AI video model, Ray3, their latest AI video model. And this one's got some serious upgrades. It's the first AI video model with native HDR. Now HDR stands for high dynamic range. That means is more detail in the brightest highlights and the darkest shadows at the same time, instead of footage looking flat or washed out. Now, until now, AI video hasn't really expanded into this, and Ray3 changes that. Now, what's great is you can use text to video to describe a scene and get a stunning animation that sticks to your prompt way better than before. Or you can use image to video using keyframes. You start with one frame and end with another, and Ray3 animates everything in between. You get total control over how the scene unfolds. Now, what I love about this is you can even extend or loop your clips effortlessly. And this gives us a whole load of creative possibilities. Now, here's the fun part and what makes Ray3 different. You can reconstruct SDR footage into HDR not just fake it, but generate the missing range so you can bring otherwise unusable shots from poor quality camera equipment into pro HDR pipelines. Now I've been testing Ray3 inside Luma's Dream Machine, which is very fun and accessible to use. And the HD export to EXR format is an absolute game changer. I can drop these sequences straight into professional color grading and VFX workflows. No hacks, no shortcuts. Luma's got a full breakdown of Ray3 in the link in my bio below, if you would like to dig a little bit deeper. And I would love to see what you create. Now, a big thanks to Luma for sponsoring today's video. Now, if you'd like to explore some of the best tools aggregated into one place, I've put together a handy little guide which showcases my favorite recommendation for every different type of AI tool. You can download that for free in the description below. Now, if you enjoyed this video, why not watch this one next, which showcases the power of using Nano Banana for motion graphics with Midjourney. Check it out here. But most of all, thanks for watching and have a delightful day.